It was a privilege of mine to give this talk, um, and basically I think it's an undercovered topic. Uh, bladder cancer patients face a wider range of costs, and it's no surprise that it's one of the most expensive cancers on a per patient basis. Um, and this cost is actually projected to increase over the next 15 years. Uh, but when we look at the types of costs they face, the costs we can measure are often just the tip of the iceberg of the costs they actually face. Um, oftentimes the indirect costs, lost work, opportunity cost of time, uh, make up a large chunk of the cost they face. And then the quality of life impacts of that cost, called financial toxicity, uh, can also have a major impact on their quality of life and also their treatment ramifications. So we basically uh, value that quality of life equally and if, if you look at that quality of life and, and its impact on bladder cancer patients, uh, it actually can uh, be larger than the cost we can measure. So uh, in bladder cancer, the cost we measure are a small chunk of the cost that patients actually face. Um, so the sources of the costs are uh, basically uh, cancer related, so stage of disease, complications and progression and surveillance. Um, but the financial toxicity may not be related to the disease, it may actually be related to uh, patient-related factors such as income, employment, um, younger age. And so uh, that's basically what my talk highlighted. Uh, and then at the end I covered some strategies to potentially mitigate this. Uh, there's no easy solution. Uh, it's going to take broad policy change to have a major impact, but on the ground, three easy strategies I think are to understand the, uh, the financial conditions and concerns of your patient and then identify at-risk patients and direct those at-risk patients to resources at our institutions such as social workers, financial navigators early. Um, and then last, I think we should incorporate cost discussions and financial toxicity discussions into shared decision-making with our patients.